Hey everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So we have an Ameritron AL80, the original AL80. So it's got some issues here. The needle broke off. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that for the meter. Meter movement's still good. Rotary switch looks good, but padding cap below the tuner puff ceramic HEC cap is damaged, so I'll replace that. I'm going to clean the contacts on the TR relay. SO239s need to be changed. There's no grip at all. They slip in, slip right out. Customer wants the filter caps changed. I'm going to put 500 volt rated modern ones in. Also change the resistors across each cap. They're so cheap. It's a good idea to do it, you know. Because if one of those opens, you'll lose the cap. That is across. So, I'm going to check everything else over. And I'll be back. See you guys soon. Okay, I've got the filter caps removed. I used a solder sucker, a little mini flathead screwdriver, black magic marker, right angle uh, needle nose pliers, and I unsolder each connection and fold them over, solder, uh, suck the solder, and pull them each out. And I mark everything as I go along. Uh, next, I will remove the equalization slash bleeder resistors replace those as you can see I have one positive connection for grounds I'll be using a modern uh, type so that's why I'm marking everything and I'll triple check everything before I turn it on so that's that and I'll be back okay right, everybody I'm back I have the filter caps and resistors installed there are the old ones old resistors and the old caps are in the box right here so, okay. I cleaned up a bunch of the old flux and stuff from when it was put together at the factory. Drilled a couple holes to mount a couple on one side of the cap. And I had to add some jumpers. You always want to make sure that you still have the resistor in parallel with each cap. Check all your solder joints. And uh, everything's good here. So... It's clean, cleaned off most of the marker that I used to mark everything, and you got the new caps. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue on here. I'll be back. Hey, I'm gonna show you something real quick. I ended up changing one thing. I lifted the B positive where it goes over to the plate choke, and I added another piece of the same type of wire up to a series glitch resistor. There's no room to really put it in the corner. Can't get to the other side of this wall to mount standoff. So, mounted a couple standoffs. Connected the wire disconnected from the rectifier board over to one side. And then the new wire to that side. So, we went through the hole and connected it. So, that's good to go. I'm going to put the input circuit board back in. And, uh... Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com. I'm going to turn this thing on. Okay, you can see the, the meter works. So, I'm going to go over everything I did. Uh, I have the cover off, the test lead. To, don't do this at home. This is dangerous. Um, I have the interlock switch bypassed. I was testing with the cover off so I could adjust the input. Uh, Pi networks. So, let's go over everything I did. So, someone had glued the needle in place at one point. That broke off during shipping, so I soldered it. It's good now. I put diodes across the meter movement. I added the series glitch resistor, new filter caps, new equalization resistors, cleaning the output TR relay. I'm waiting on one connector. I changed one of them. I'm waiting for the output one. I bent it back temporarily so I could just test it. The uh, clips inside the SO239. I'll be replacing the output one also with the uh, uh, silver plated Teflon dielectric SO239. Um, clean the output rotary switch, check the air variables, they're good, obviously, and uh, change that doorknob cap, the other one was all screwed up, that's good, the padding cap, and uh, this thing's pretty much, it's all set, so... Just have to change that one connector when I get it, but I wanted to take a video real quick. 
Tested for full output on all bands. Has a brand new Pentalabs tube in it. Awesome company. So, I want to make a note of something. First, I thought it was on backwards, but the anode connection uh, for the, you know, this dissipating cap right here, I thought it was backwards. You want the screw on the bottom because there's such a, you know, the clearance is so little between the anode and the top cover that the screw even makes it even closer, of uh, the uh, brings the anode even closer to the ground potential. So, you want the screw on the bottom. Make sure you have the, you know, the screw and then the, it's like a star washer to hold it in place. So, that's that. Oh, I also, yeah, like I said, I had to tune some of the input uh, capacitors for the Pi Networks to get flat. But now it works 160 through 10 meters. It says 10 meters in it. And uh, it's good to go. Thanks for watching. If you need an amplifier fixed, feel free to call 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Take care.